Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do Vampires by Jeremy Cox from this company. <laughs> Part one. Um, I have a lot to say, so let's dive in. So uh, we skip immediately uh, to, uh, well, this is in the past, and it seems that this doctor is, you know, is, I don't know, a scientist or you know, operating on people, you know, figuring out the anatomy and stuff. That's what they did in the, I don't know, in which century, basically. I don't know what century this is. Um, I'm, my history is not that good. So well, let's leave it at that. But it's it's Dr. Ring. And Dr. Ring is basically um, the son uh, of another doctor uh, who is mentioned briefly or a couple of times, but not very, you know, explained from what the deal is with them but along the way that it seems that is some kind of a um, how do you say blemish is that how you say it stigma on his family because his father is a nutcase or something like that and um, so people look at him differently and his son wants to get out of that you know stigma and to to become a so he becomes a doctor he's come become rational and have to unlearn everything that his dad is taught him when he was younger so he wants to be his own man but he has some troubles some finance troubles and uh he 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 found a, a a nice wife and he's going to marry her and he uh, he got a gift from someone and it seems that he has got a cross and um but um he thought at first, hey, it was maybe from his father that is, you know, nowhere to be found, missing, I guess. And um, and he has also a brother, and a brother is on this on this boat on this ship. And um, it it what's really weird is no, there's nobody on it. Uh, but then this 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 not the captain, by the way. I thought this was the captain first, but it's not. It's some guy, some guy, some crew member, and they talk about um, and this is the brother, by the way. Uh, about stuff and that the brother heard from someone there there are ghost ships and um, the crew member says bollocks that's 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 rubbish um he said do you believe in witches no do you believe in sea monsters no do you believe in ghouls come off i need he said you see in ghost ships no 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 no. that's all it's all poppycock if you will and then they turn around and there is a, <laughs> there's a ghost ship with people on it well it's not really people it's a uh, it's vampires, yes, uh, friends, vampires to be, uh, uh, to be exactly. So they are gonna butcher the the, the crew, and um, and then we skip to uh, to uh, a place near Bristol. So hey, uh, Bristolian Dave, if you're watching this, uh, this is right up your alley, and it seems that this guy is Henry Page. He is a ship merchant, and he's a good friend of the Rings family, and he wants to. Um, you know, uh, well, it, it seems that this guy, uh, whoever he is, probably someone alive of the crew, or and he saw that there were monsters on board, and but how did he get back? Did they found the ship? There's no explanation. Um, Henry says, uh, poppycock, and he throws him in jail, and then he asks, um, um, Dr. Kevin, um, to, to go, um, to, to look for for the the, the ghost ship uh, because he paid good money for uh, for the other ship where his brother on it and uh, now everybody's missing and he says well why don't you to go find your brother and and and, and the doctor says why me because I'm just a doctor right I'm I'm uh, I'm a man of science and <laughs> and then Harry says totally out of context and that's all you do. Uh, right? Research these occult sort of things, always with those strange books, uh, which is really weird because that's not what he's reading. He's reading science stuff. But um, but Henry says, nah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm not meant for the sea. Thank you for the offer, but uh, I, I must decline. And while Henry says, hey, man, you can you can find your your um, your brother and and. Uh, you, you've got to make an example of all the other people that, well, um, I am not to be trifled with because uh, it's it's my boat and I'm, I've, I have a name to uphold. 
I'm, I'm a merchant, right? And Henry says, uh, <laughs> he says, no. <laughs> the next day, hey, I'm going on board on the ship. <laughs> I laughed. Well, not really. Um, so he, uh, he says goodbye to his wife. And then he meets the captain. And uh, the captain says, uh, uh, do you believe in anything, uh, Mr. Ring? He says, uh, I believe in science and in facts. And that's all I ever know. And, uh, and, and, and he says to the captain, what do you believe in? I believe in one thing and one thing only. And it's death. Yeah. <laughs> that's a little bit dramatic. Um, also, there's a little bit time trouble. Uh, well, that's, that's, not a, that's not the right word. Um, time is weird here because uh, suddenly we are eating. And, um, and, 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 and the ship's captain says, um, so how are we going to kill him? And the doctor says, what are you talking about? Um, I said, I mean the vampires. But how did the captain know that they are hunting vampires? So it seems that the good doctor is sleeping. I mean, um, talking in his sleep. And he overheard it. And also... Well, for starters, those strange book you had when you are on board, when you boarded. Dar. Okay, I'm speaking pirate now, but that's not really true. He's not a pirate. Um, so, 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 in his uh, opinion, so if you have strange book with you, then you are automatically, you know, hunting vampires. Is that is that the conclusion? That's a little bit weird. Um, Anyway, he caves in and he says, uh, I'm a man of reason. Um, I said, this, these, these werewolves and ghosts and vampires are the kings that my father is believing. I mean, I don't want to, you know, uh, how to say, uh, put, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, he doesn't want to repeat the same mistakes his father did because his father is, is, is you know, going crazy and nobody believed him and, that's why his name is, is has a bad reputation. So he goes to the uh, the science school and learn the doctor thingy, whatever how they call it there and back in the day. And uh, so, uh, but they are you know look for vampires and they found uh, finally the ship and there's nobody on it. And uh, so they're gonna board it and uh, they're gonna look for it and there's nobody there and and, and this this. Guy says, well, there's a lot of dirt here. What, what's going on with that? So, uh, and they say, hey, let's go back because the sun is setting. And then uh, I said, wait a minute. Um, I said, we, we didn't find nothing, just a bunch of dirt and a bunch of coffins in the lower quarters. I said, what did you say? Coffins? It's a partnership. I said, what? Yeah, we need to burn the ship. And, um, and, and they want to do that, but they are too late because vampires are rising. I must say the art looks really fun. Uh, and what I don't get is why this vampire just destroys his own coffin. I mean, isn't that what you go back to when you are done with your vampire thing stuff? Anyway, they come out. Um, they're getting massacred, uh, all of the crews. And, you know, we see some gruesome stuff. You know, arms being chopped off. People getting, you know, their heads spliced. Um... Also, I must say I love the art, but I never loved... I don't know why art is doing that, you know? Looking, making characters that looks into the camera uh, or into the reader. I, I don't know. I just I don't just look like that. Uh, so they are getting killed. And also this looks cool as well. And I believe these are French vampires because they are... Well, I'm not I'm not speaking French, but I, I guess this is French. Et foie de vampire. Uh, I don't know if that's correct, but that just made things up. Anyway, so uh, they are getting, you know, killed left and right. And then the doctor, um, you know, is is fighting an, um, a vampire. And it's actually his brother. And his brother is escaping. And he says, Stephen, Stephen, come back. Uh, um, and then uh, the, the captain joins in. Well, the, the vampire captain. And um, he is attacking uh, the doctor, Kevin. And um, he says, I know you. Uh, you have the same face as your father. And your father just butchered my family. And now I'm going to return the favor. And uh, the strange thing is, is that Kevin is making jokes 
And, um, and I don't get that because if you are a man of science and you never believe in supernatural stuff, you, know, you never seen natural supernatural stuff. And there's some, and then out of the blue, there's a vampire with red eyes and, and white skin and fangs uh, before you. I, I think I'm going to scare the shit out of my pants. The, or I shit my pants because I'm scared. Probably that's the right order. Um, but no, 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 no. Kevin is cracking jokes. He says, uh, what, what did my father do? To send you a postcard. So <laughs> that's weird. And um, but, but before the vampire captain strikes, the, um, the ship blows up. And I say, oh, cool. But who, uh, why did it blow up? Uh, I didn't see anyone, you know, putting a barrel of TNT or whatever in the, in, in the room. So how did it blow up? I don't know. And then we have a black page. And as you already know, I hate black pages. And then we see, I don't know, some weird images. And I believe this is the shell shock thing when you, you're just being blasted overboard. And then we have the captain uh, rowing away. Uh, what's the resolution? Come on, come on, come on. And they pick Kevin up. Come on, what's this? Sorry, guys, but my camera is not working. Where is it? This is better. So slowly, slowly, slowly. So here we go. And then... Um, they say, uh, I wonder if any of those devils survived. And Kevin says, well, nobody's going to survive that explosion. And then he says, perhaps they didn't die. I said, what do you mean by that? It's like the good doctor said. And I thought, oh, man, this, this, this captain is turned into a vampire and he's going to attack them. And, and since there's a lot of pages left, you're going to go see a cool battle, right? Uh, no, because this is... What you see, and this is the vampire captain, and it says the end. I said, "What? What do you mean end? This is this now." Nah, but I have a lot of pages left, so I turn the page, and I said, "What the hell is this crap?" So I flipped it, <laughs> and it's kindergarten cough cafeteria havoc. What? Are you kidding me? Why would you? Put a children's book thingy into a horror. <laughs> Why? Who who thought this was a great idea? Who thought that was a great idea? Oh, let's make let's make a cool book about vampires and blood and guts and people getting limbs getting chopped off. And then oh, and by the way, we have also some 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 cool um, you know uh, humor thing with 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 kitties and with. Um, you know, with, with cartoony art and, and, and children. Isn't that fun, guys? Isn't that fun? <laughs> what? Why? So I think, okay, well, this is a very, it's not really a cliffhanger that I like. Um, well, not like this. Like, let, let me leave it, let's say that. So I find, you know what? I'm going to look for part two uh, of Jerome's Cox. <laughs> Vampires. So I looked online and there is no part two. There is no part two. There's a, and, but there are vampires on, on Google, and on, on, uh, be, but they are books. They are not comics. This is the only comic in existence as far as I know. So why put you part one? I've been tricked. I've been tricked. And trick and treat is already over. Oh, man. Oh, my God. The only thing that has been stuck dry is the money out of my wallet. <laughs> That's a good title, too. I'm going to use that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This sucks. Literally and figuratively. Uh, Thank you for watching, like my video, leave a comment, share my video, subscribe to my channel. See you next time.